And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Boy, we have finally broken the back of the heat wave, and thank goodness for that. Look at the numbers over the past couple of days. Six consecutive days, 100 plus. Started last Thursday at 100. We did 102 a couple of times, Friday and Sunday. 106 on Monday was a record, and 105 on Tuesday was also a record high temperature. Well, we've broken that back, but we had some scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday night. Some real heavy downpours, but not at any of the meteorologists' houses. Just a measly 0.01, one one hundredth of an inch at my house, but that still leaves me in the lead by a tenth of an inch about over Sheldon. He had a trace and five one hundredths for Dave and uh, Tanner. So Thursday, some rumbles or thunder are possible. Rain chance not particularly high, 20 to 30 percent. Severe weather likelihood a little bit more in the darker green areas across the northwest. Here's the computer forecast model as we go through the day. We start out pretty quiet midday. Yeah, some thunderstorms may develop shortly after lunchtime. By 3 o'clock, I think hit and miss variety. Probably again a 20 to 30 percent rain chance and they'll continue into the early evening hours and then weaken a little bit and we'll repeat that rain chance as we go through Friday and actually on into the weekend as well. So here's the seven day supercast. Let's go 20 percent rain chance for Thursday and Friday. Note the temperatures next couple of days. We're close to or even below average. We'll raise the rain chance to 30 to even 40 percent for scattered showers and thunderstorms through the weekend and look at Monday high of 81. That's pretty nice here in the middle of July, and then we'll continue a 10% rain chance, but temperatures in the 80s below average through the middle part of next week.